If you guys just want to buy one lens for your Sony camera, this has to be it. The Sigma 24-70 f2.8. So the 24 to 70 for any camera brand is the most popular lens ever made. And that's because it is the most versatile lens you can buy. There's a lot of stigma of zoom lenses compared to prime lenses. And I actually believe for the longest time that prime lenses are sharper and have faster autofocus. But this lens might actually break that statement. So I actually went out for a quick photo and video shoot to test out the autofocus and the sharpness of this lens and actually show you why this lens is so versatile. So this lens is ridiculously sharp throughout all the focal lengths and it's as sharp as my prime lenses. Which really surprised me because the 24-70 f2.8 is apparently quite a difficult lens to manufacture. And most 24-70s will be sharp at the 24mm end but as they work up to the 70mm end they get more softer or vice versa. But this is definitely not the case with the Sigma 24 to 70. Because it's sharp at the 24, the 35, the 50 millimeter and the 70 millimeter focal range. I'm just um, trying to, it's pretty late in the afternoon, like in the morning, so I'm just backlighting Maria's hair, so you get those nice shadows on her face. Yeah, I love that. Keep looking this way. Yeah, yeah. I might just get you to just keep doing that, you know? Just in that look. Yeah. So what about the autofocus? Well, this lens has basically been glued to my Sony a7 IV. I've used it for both photo and video, and I've had no complaints with the autofocus, and it hasn't really missed for photo or video. It compares really well to my prime lenses and also my Sony lenses. If you wanna buy a 24 to 70 for the Sony system, you only really have two options. You have the 1000 USD Sigma version, or you can go out and buy the new G Master 2, which actually costs more than twice the price at $2,300 USD. Now that lens will be slightly faster in autofocus because it is a Sony native lens and it is significantly lighter. But for another $1,300, you're only really getting about 2% more performance unless weight is a massive issue for you. Samyang do make an $850 24-70, but from my research on YouTube, sadly that lens is a little bit soft and the autofocus isn't as good as the Sigma or the new Sony. And Tamron actually make a really great 
aspect lens, but unfortunately that's only 28 to 75. Now that lens is super light, it's great autofocus and it's super sharp. I actually borrowed my friend's one and I really, really liked it. And that was competing with the Sigma from which one I was buying. I chose to go with the Sigma because I love the look of 24 millimeter and it's very versatile when I use it on my APS-C cameras or even the a7 IV with the 4K 60 crop. So the APS-C version will be a 35 to 105 focal range. So this lens is built like a tank. It's actually a little bit heavy, but when you put it on the a7 IV with a rig setup, it feels really nice in the hand. You got two buttons that I love, and I think most lenses should have this, and that being a autofocus and manual focus switch, and then a custom button here, which I've set up on my camera to be focus peaking. So when I'm on video, and I need to quickly do manual focus. I can switch it over to manual focus very quickly and then turn on my focus peaking. The zoom feels nice from 24 to 70 and the focus ring is Sigma quality. It's a Sigma lens. You know you're getting quality when you buy Sigma glass. Now this lens is definitely not perfect by any means. There is one kind of fatal flaw that this lens does have and that's dust issues. Now being a zoom lens when you're zooming in and out you're constantly sucking in dust into this part of the lens and that dust ends up on the front element of the Sigma one. But my one's actually got no dust on the inner element at the moment. I actually bought the second hand, so the person who I bought it off just looked after it well and that's what I think you need to do with this lens, just look after it. And if you do get dust in the front element, it doesn't really matter because it's only at the back element or the sensor when you shoot at high apertures, you're gonna see these dust spots. So leave your comments down below if you guys own a 24-70. If you're looking to buy a 24-70, to 70 and let's also debate the primes versus zooms down that comment section and as always guys if you guys like this video make sure you hit that like button it really helps me out and my channel and maybe subscribe for future content we'll see you next week